Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is a guide to the Raden raid boss in Nyalatha on normal and heroic difficulty. This poor guy has had a rough couple of expansions. For a tank ability, he's got Nullifying Strike. He'll do that at 100 energy, and tanks can swap after each one. The big thing of Phase 1 are these Vita and Void orbs. One of each will spawn and start moving towards the boss. You need to kill one orb before it gets there, and Raden will eat the other one. He'll gain a set of abilities based on which orb he ate. This will happen several times in Phase 1, and you need to alternate which orb you kill every time. If you double up, you'll get Overwhelming Rage, which is no good. It's also important that you do kill one orb. If you don't get it down in time, he will eat both and be doing double mechanics for the next minute or so. After eating the Electric Vita Orb, he'll release a wave of Unleashed Vita for raid damage and get his Vita moves. He'll summon Crackling Stalker adds, which cast Chain Lightning. You can spread out if that's wrecking you, but you probably want to just drop the ad quickly and go about your day. The big dangerous Vita mechanic is Unstable Vita. Someone gets the Lightning, and every 7 seconds it'll jump to the farthest available player. Anyone in the path takes big damage, so we want to bounce it across a clear space. Bouncing or getting hit by the lightning gives you instability exposure, so each player can only touch it once. There's a few ways to set this up, but what we did was send some players back towards the entrance to bounce the lightning away from the rest of the raid. After you've done your bounce, head back to the boss so you're not in the way. After Raden eats a shadowy void orb, he'll throw out a raid-wide healing absorb with unleashed void and get his void moves. Healers need to try to heal that off as quickly as they can. He'll call a Void Hunter ad who needs to be cleaned up fast. Tank it on the boss so folks can cleave. It'll cast Void Collapse on a player, giving them a massive shared hit that they will need help soaking. Anyone that soaks will get Void Defilement, taking half healing for 14 seconds. Basically, everyone but the tank needs to be in that to help soak, although if it turns out that you can go Ice Block it or something, by all means go do that. Unstable Void will launch a missile that slowly falls on a marked spot. One player needs to get in that to soak it, which will bounce it back up. Someone else goes to soak the next one, and so on until it despawns. Soaking a bouncy void will give you the same instability exposure from the bouncy lightning, so once you have the debuff, you cannot help again with either mechanic until it falls off. At 40% health, Raden will power up and we're into phase 2. No more orbs. Any remaining time on his last orb buff will continue though, so don't push him right as new orbs are spawning. Nullifying Strike is gone and replaced with Decaying Strike, which leaves the Decaying Wound dot. The dot will do more damage if the tank had high health when they took the Decaying Strike. When Raden is at full energy and it's about to go out, let the tank who is taking it drop below half health or so to keep the dot in check. Void Eruption will spawn big purple swirls to dodge, so move out of those. Charged Bonds is a fun one. That will link you to a buddy with a lightning tether and start ramping up damage on you guys. You need to run at least 40 yards away from each other to snap the tether. Ruin will pump raid damage and might need a healer cooldown later in the fight. As the phase continues, Raden will periodically cast Gorge Energies and stack up a permanent damage buff. You need to finish the fight before that gets too real. On normal, that's the fight, and it looks like that's the fight on heroic also. There are no specific heroic mechanics marked down, just a numbers tune-up. And that is Raden in Nyalatha. I've got more guides on my channel, and I also stream on Twitch. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful, wonderful day.